Hello people, I know you can only afford inexpensive guitars, but you know you like, the, I know that you like the guitar porn. And um, for those of you that actually like pretty people in front of the camera, we got Sammy here. Yes. God, I, I'm leaving. <laughs> those of you that like hair, Sammy's here. Right, um, so we're going to go from guitar to guitar because this is the boutique guitar showcase at the Musique Productive Messe. Uh, this guitar they put on the wrong way, and why? They put on the wrong way? Well, I think it's to feature this beautiful back, uh, back and sides. And what's interesting about this is... What this about the front? Is the front simple? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, <laughs> because they always use Sitka spruce, and Sitka spruce is boring. Well, what else would you do with 11,000 euros? What would you... <laughs> that buys you a lot of porn. And coke Life and hookers. <laughs> yeah, for me it'd be a lifetime supply with eleven grand. Look, <laughs> look, Friedman, the pedal that I still don't have, Dave. This uh, is a great video, or a great pedal, and it's going to be a great video. But yeah, this is a great. Pedal. Show the back. Is it that pretty? Yeah, boring. Uh, boring. Classic rock and roll black. Okay, what do we have here? Twenty-eight hundred. We're going down way in price. Yeah, what is this? It's, got, it's got carbon. That's cool. The pick, the pick cool. I'm always a little bit suspect of headless guitars. Have you, you have any experience with them? Uh, I'm, I'm getting my first on Tuesday from Mayones. Okay, that's the Hydra six string. That's <laughs> there you go. That's probably great. What's it look like? Is it similar? It's uh, on the opposite side of the treatment booth. I show you. We'll they have one. Out. Yeah. Okay. Um, the lace sensors are neat, but they're very microphonic. So if you hit them with your pick, you hear every click on it, and that's really bugging me. Okay. Wow. Microphonic. Okay. This is, is that a carbon? No, no. Look, look at the neck. Turn it around. I don't know if they want to take that off. The neck is cool. Three piece. It looks like. That's interesting, man. What type of? Do they do double ball ends on these to make them stay? No, you, uh, you uh, uh, they the hex screw to, uh, um, to lock them in. Okay, that's cool. Interesting. That's an interesting design, man. Here we have a Santa Cruz guitars acoustic for thirteen grand. Nothing to say about that, really. I'd have never heard of. What is that like a what? Where are they made, do you know? Santa Cruz? Santa Cruz. Dude, how drunk are you? I'm not drunk, I don't know. <laughs> it could have, been, could have been anything else. It's called Santa Cruz guitars. From New York. From, yeah, from, well, yeah, they're from, uh, they're from uh, Ohio. Canada. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of cool. Um, I, well, I've never, they, they don't have them in the States, though. That's why it's weird. Well, Probably. they probably do because they're from Santa Cruz. They must, I guess. Whatever. <laughs> um, Dingwall, amazing basses, and no, it's, it's green. Okay, moving on. Um, <laughs> we have a Tausch guitar. These are fantastic. We don't have any of these brands in the States. Actually, Tausch, you can buy at very selected uh, places in the US. Okay. I've never, never heard of it, though. That's cool. It looks like it plays amazing. That's probably my favorite so far. What? Come get in. What? Come get in. We're looking at cool guitars, and there's a Friedman pedal. Uh, so Sammy, so what do you think? Uh, what do you think about these guitars? Where is the Santa Cruz guitar made? You think? Santa Cruz? Ah, there it is. Duh. Maybe. Where, I was thinking Canada. Oh, <laughs> not Germany? Not Germany. What do you think of this? We're looking at the uh, Aragon for eight thousand three hundred euros. It kind of seems like. Uh, Still got the old. I don't know, you know, you know. For some reason, it reminds me of Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters. <laughs> the, the better the better question is, what would you do if you just had eight? What else would you spend your money on with eight thousand euros? Maybe anything. He said he said lifetime supply of coke. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, we'll give it back to no, you. No, no, be be part of this. Okay. Classic. What do we think about this headstock on this classic? Well, that headstock comes from a vintage Fender headstock originally, the very first Telecasters. Really? Yes. Well, very similar. Uh, Look at the dots. That's. Well, there's a little something. Um, hmm. um, uh, hmm. He was the first builder for our guitars. Really? Before Grover Jackson, yeah. So that's not a coincidence? No. Ah. Oh, I know, that's amazing. So we are learning a shit ton now, of things. Now, 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 this is a video. He makes a very, he makes a very nice guitar. Yep, that's cool. It is definitely reminiscent. Avishai Shabbat. Yep. 
Also, they, another Avi. Where are they from? He's uh, well. He's in Los Angeles, but he's Israeli. Okay. Ah, I, I see the circle of friends. <laughs> These are from Switzerland. I, I like nice. how that looks. Actually, it's very nice. Look at the neck. Oh, oh yeah. Really nice. Very nice. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Yeah. I like that. Sorry, honey. You have to shut up again. Ah. Oh. Uh, Hold on. <laughs> so uh, there's another one of his guitars here. Yeah. Good green, true. Beautiful fretboard color. So what is this? I like this. That's yeah. a Kawa. That's cool. Now, what do you guys think? Too much or not enough? Let's 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 get some light on it so okay, Alex can get well. it. <laughs> can you take that? Too much or not enough? I think it's enough, but uh, I really, my I think it's very cool. My favorite thing is the inlay. I think the inlay is sick. What about the uh, sparkle? That's a lot. Yeah. Binding. It's a lot. Is it not just a little bit over the top? I think the pickup rings are it's a little bit over the top. Absolutely over the top, but that's why I think I like oh, okay. it. <laughs> it's not black, though. It's not. It's not black enough for Dave Friedman. By the way, by the way, in this video we can do it. There's a challenge we forgot to do at my place. Because Dave is, you know, all black. Oh, no, no. jeans, okay. Jeans are blue. But I would like to challenge Dave to sport a Mr. Gugu shirt at NAM for an hour straight. And if you get one large enough for me, I'll do it. You know I know the guys from Mr. Gugu, right? Yes, I do. So... We might pick llamas on a bus or something. You know that, right? Anything you want. Okay, Sammy and I, we will go through Mr. Google's website and oh, pick... Oh, oh, oh and wait. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Yes. But Sammy has to wear one also. I'll do it. I'll do it, no problem. Just whatever one you think. Okay, so at Nam, you will see those two. I will try my darndest um, for an hour in Mr. Google shirts. Just to have the picture of us three together wearing one in front of a bunch of Freedmen's, that's just amazing. That's Here the challenge to uh, Xaveri from Mr. Gugu. We, we gotta make that happen. We gotta make the guy that only wears black wear one of your shirts. We're gonna make that happen. Moving on to guitars. This is an... Oh, that's interesting because it's got an, a hole right here. It does have a rather large sound hole right there. Oh wait, and on the back. There's another one here. And it's fan, and it has the frets. They're crooked. Oh, fan frets, yes. Hmm. It, it's a mere 15,470 euro. That's it? Yep. Can I borrow that? Yeah. Yeah, let me, uh, let me sell my truck, and then <laughs> we can get it. What do we think about this? It's, look, look at the back. Oh. I sort of. Look at the shaping here. That's. Really I sort of cool. like that. Oh, that's, that's a really cool. That's very cool. And here comes the kicker, lift it. Wow. It weighs nothing. I'd love to plug that in. That's probably That's amazing cool. guitar. I like this. Very Jetsons. Yep, with the carbon. <laughs> and look at the headstock because it's rounded. All That's the edges are rounded. That is pretty damn sexy. I want one of those, yeah. That's cool. Jetsons is, is perfect. That's, Jetsons. Yep. This is cool. Wow. This is the opposite. So that's sort of a... Cello meets guitar meets acoustic meets electric. It's reminiscent of what is coming out of Israel from B&G. Have you seen those B&G no. guitars? Nope. Super handmade in the four to 5,000 euro range. Very nice guitars, but in that kind of shape. Um, this is kind of like an Art Deco kind of, oh, 8,000 bucks. Um, yeah, well, here's Spalt. Have you seen Spalt instruments before? Uh, no, but he, he, I have he, now. He does a lot it's of... It's like a little diorama in, in, yeah. in, the, in the guitar. That's amazing. That's amazing. Apparently, they're also really good guitars. And they're not cool. Just, and not just like, you know, funny. That's, a, that's nice. interesting. He exhibits at NAMM, so how tonally... I wonder if the whole back is one piece of wood. What is that, like resin? Oh, look at that. Oh, wow. that, 
Wow, look at that. How much is this? You know, I have to say, a lot of these people really work very hard at this stuff. It's a beautiful ideas. It's a, look at the top, that's about um, cent, one and a half centimeters easily. Nice uh, bird's eye maple there. Mm -hmm. uh, it's uh, 5,500. That's worth it, well worth it. I think he's from uh, well, Switzerland. The, the amount of work that goes yeah. in that? Yeah, amount of hours. You know? And every guitar is absolutely unique. Yeah. yeah that's a hell of an instrument. Uh, Klein used to be someone who did headless guitars. My guitar, now he has a head. My guitar teacher had a Klein guitar mm -hmm. and he loved it and the sound was phenomenal. They were always expensive. Now with that headstock, I... I'd probably rather have it in headless, but this is his twist on a telly. Yeah. Oh, this is this is not lift this. That's nice. Wow. This it, it is an interesting headstock, right? I mean, look at this. <laughs> yeah. But poor neck, amazing neck on this. I have to say, with the Klein guitar, I'd probably have it headless. <laughs> you do that. Uh, that's that Jerry Cantrell man, right? Huh. No. No? Well, you should sell that. But he has our logo. <laughs> you, should, you should give this away with every JJM. Uh, uh, Great idea. Yeah. Sure. Yeah? Why not? <laughs> um, oh. Here, here, here we go. You go first. I don't. I don't. I, I don't know what to say. It's got the electronics on the outside. It's sort of. Um, kind of grandma's old jewelry gone bad. But 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 here's the thing, Alex. So but very get... unique. No no. You see the gold, but actually look at the top. It's gorgeous, yeah. but you're so blinded by the gold or so taken aback that you don't actually see the beautiful green flame maple under it, which is kind of sad. The flame maple alone would have been enough to make this stunning. Yeah, but the controls are on the outside. Everything. It looks flimsy. Touch it, he said to him. No, it's not. not. No, very, very sturdy. Hmm. Actually, nice control. I gotta say, those are nice controls. I want to see the back of it. Oh. <laughs> wow! Wow! Same top in. The, look at this. Is, that is what, not, what the? It's really just a top. Expected, yeah. That's amazing. So this has to have something to do a with stability. And be with resonance. Yeah. It has to, yeah. It has to. How much do we want to play this now? I'd, I'd love to try that. I'd, these are too nice, so you can't. It's like. Uh, but nice then it's got it. little flowers in the in the side. What the? That's a little bit too much, I think. And then look, this is an interesting design. Zero fret. Brass nuts. Um, a lot of engineering went into this. I really want to hear it. I wonder if they. Well, there's there's an amp and a Friedman pedal. We should do that. We should do that. <laughs> we should let Sammy go to town on this. Seriously, when when we're over there, we if, should. If they let me, yeah. Taos are brilliant. They are simple. So Beautiful. simple that they don't even have pickup rings or anything. The pickups are mounted perfectly. That's that's amazing engineering. How? We, I can ask uh, Rainer. He's a he's a very very smart guy. I I think this really took a lot of engineering to do. I don't know how he does it. I don't know how he gets them in there because yeah. How do you get the pickup in? I don't I don't know. Not from the back. I actually I don't know how he does it. But isn't it beautiful? You slide it in like that. Yeah. But then the other foot wouldn't slide in. It wouldn't. No, it wouldn't slide in. It has. It has to go straight in. He explained it to me, and I didn't understand it. Okay. 
These are. It's a mystery. These are gorgeous guitars. Look yeah. at that neck. Very nice. Uh, here's a strat. There's that, that guy. Israeli guy again. We, we can definitely see some, we can see a little bit where that came from then. Here we have another cower, which isn't too much. Less than the other cower. Yep. Super cool though. Absolutely. Well, here, of course, we have a Teufel, which is. Which is. What is that? It's a Teufel. Teufel. These are resonance bars, and you can get them in different woods. You can actually well, it get sounds them in like flame right. maple and whatever. I mean, in, in gorgeous colors and stuff. Um, everything on this is fully handmade, fully original. Uh, and it's. Uh, Kirk Hammond has one. Really? He, yes. Does he play it live? No. I think he once did. Does it have a wah built in? Pick up selector, Sammy. No, to no tone knob or no tone. You bought it? Yeah. Say that again. Sorry. I love looking down at the flower inlays on this thing. That sounds very flowery. What you just played. Thanks. That's what, <laughs> inspiring. It's not only guitar inspires you what to play. Well, um. That's it from this guitar boutique guitar showcase at Musique Protiva. I want to thank, uh, well, Dave Friedman because if I don't thank him, he kicks me. And uh, Sammy because I actually want to thank him. And um, this guitar doesn't say rock and roll, but you make it rock. Thank you. Thank you so much. There's something else. People would most certainly definitely remember you if you played that. You, they would never ever forget that they've seen you. I'm going, I'm going home, I want to get back to Michigan, I'm selling my car, and I'm, and I'm coming right back here and buying this thing. Look at the back of this. <laughs> That's crazy. It is. But what's, what's, weird, what's really interesting is it feels, it feels good when you hold it, you know, it feels natural, it doesn't feel like something crazy. I mean, awesome. I mean, well, we'll put it back so we don't destroy it. Uh, animals at the end. <laughs> <laughs>